The complexities of another's life are what let me hear, the old goat said to me. He was thinking of the young boy who had raised him for 4-H some 15 years ago. He adored me, but adoration is much more fickle than love, he paused, and fleeting. Conversing with a goat can be a brief encounter, a passing by of, leave a few apples on the tree for me, please. Or it can be an ongoing dialogue where information is extracted slowly, over time, days even. The morning sun had soaked into the cement retaining wall by the old barn for at least an hour. The old goat hobbled to the wall and pressed one side of his body against the warm gray stone. His front shoulder is bent from crippling and his feet are turned on their sides from years of neglect in his former life. Any movement requires a shifting of good legs to bad creating imbalance, but a quick head bobbing always seems to get him ready again, steady again. Guineas' 4-H boy quickly learned that a bike got him farther than a goat, and the bike eventually was replaced with a car. The car took the boy to new places, where he could fish, dance, drink beer, or be a boy without a goat. I would have traveled with him, but he never asked, the old goat said. As he chewed some cut, I sat in silence with him, watching the wind dance with chicken feathers, first slowly lifting them, then dipping them in a dramatic tango dive. I thought of the feathers placed neatly in my father's felt-top hats he often wore. Who shed those feathers for his hat, I wondered. Arriving at Epifera Farm at the age of 15, Old Man Guineas was the first elderly creature to be adopted into the barnyard and was welcomed by the sentry-old arms of the barn. He spent his days under the watch of the Apifera sky, surrounded by chickens, donkeys, and a horse in the near distance. He slept that first night in his own semi-private suite, with fencing separating him from younger goats for safety, but allows, allowing nose-sniffing for comfort. Even though crippled, he held himself with dignity, like any elder statesman with a past of accomplishments and personal experiences to fill a book. Like any keeper of secrets, the feelings and memories he had tucked away deep into his own skin and heart could bring him acute moments of loneliness. Well, it has been a struggle to get the book out, but I think all in all, we should be really happy. I'm happy, and I'm sorry that I haven't had time to talk to you much because of the book, but, you know, we'll, we have lots of time to read the book, and we can read the book over. If I had to rate this book, I would definitely give it five stars, without hesitation, five stars. I was wondering if maybe I could do a book tour with you. Well, I don't know if that would be appropriate, because you know, you're not in the book. It's that this was a book about the journey I took, you know, when my father was dying, and it's about working with the animals, the misfits out in the barnyard. But I'm a misfit, too. Well, I know. I'm a misfit, too. It's a kind book, I think. I think people will feel kinder after they read the book.